Hello everyone, this is me Sakya here and I'm back with the first 10 days of July reads start from the 1st through the 10th of July 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, let's see what's coming through for you for the first 10 days time. Just be mindful, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see Sagittarius, what's coming through for you in general for this time frame? So I will be pulling out separate cards for your love life, for your career and general. So let's pull out one card to see your general energies for this 10 days time frame. Let's see, we do have a coach, advice, obedience, and knowledge. I do see that for majority of you, you are open to receive information, knowledge, um, improving your skills for this time frame. You would be like, you know, focused more on improving your life, improving your health, improving your way of being is what I see here. I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you might be also signing up for some sort of a course or coaching classes um that you would want to you know take to improve your um skills or to to get become or to become a better person uh to to uh you know uh maybe you're going to start manifesting uh as, you know something by using coaching classes around it but there is going to be like you know something or the other which is going to help you become a better version of you is what i see here during this uh you know uh 10 days frame time now i really feel like you know um a 10 days time frame now i also feel like you know for some of you uh there is somebody out there who's going to help you become um good at handling things as well especially when it comes to love and relationships uh you might have been like you know having troubles uh letting go of the past you might have been having troubles dealing with someone specific you might have been uh having troubles to believe that you are worthy of love so if that has been happening i really see that your self um you know um image is something that you're going to start uh, becoming better at like you know how you're gonna handle your image for yourself that's what i see changing i really feel like you know somebody is going to help you change a lot become a better version of you by working on your inner uh self is what i see so i really see you change um and bringing a lot of positivity in your way of looking at things as well so that change is going to shift a lot in your life is what i see here so for some of you, it can be like you're trying to learn from other people and their experiences. For some of you, it can be like you signing up on a class to, to learn more of the things that you can incorporate in your everyday life to become a better version of you. Or, you know, in any possible way, you would want to gather some knowledge and try to implement them in your in your everyday life to to become a better version of you so you could start seeing positivity in your life as well so that shift is definitely coming in for you during this uh, 10 days time let's see what's particularly happening for you in your career for these 10 days time what's particularly happening for your career in these 10 days time what is happening for you in particular regarding your career let's see I really feel like, you know, you are going to be dreaming a lot about like, you know, having the kind of uh, um, career path that you want. You would be intending a lot. You would be wanting to achieve a lot. I really feel like, you know, there is something or the other that is going to um, make you uh, come in the in the public eye. I feel like, you know, there is a chance that people are going to start like, you know, seeing you as, as um, you know, and again, I feel like, you know, maybe the, the classes or the, the lessons that you are learning from your past experiences, from the from, from your coaching classes or something, that's going to make you a better person. And everybody's going to be wanting to be like you. I feel like, you know, for some of you, this is going to improve your self-image for you. And this is also going to add confidence to you in your life. Now, that shift is going to influence other areas of your life as well. I really feel like, you know, out of nowhere, people are going to start appreciating you. After, uh, you know, um, out of nowhere, people are going to start valuing you. So I really see the, that the learning that has been going on for quite some time, or you are starting this learning in this 10 days uh, time frame, this is going to influence your career in a very good way. I really feel like, you know, people are going to be like, you know, uh, start uh, noticing you, your work more than ever. And you will start feeling like, you know, uh, something is happening for the first time in your in your career life where people are appreciating you, appreciating your work even they are like noticing small details about what you have been doing for their company or for you know whatever work you do so even if you are a social media uh, person you will see increase in your followers or people who value you who or people who want to listen to you so you will see like you know finally you are achieving the success that you wanted to achieve and it's all happening because of these 
changes that you're having from within. So I really see your work life is going to get a lot of, um, you know, applaud is what I see here. Um, and you are going to become, become more confident in yourself and what you create uh, in your work life. So I really see um, you starting a new chapter of your life with this change that I see happening in within you. Let's see what's coming through for you and your love life for this time frame. What is coming through for you for your love life? What's coming through for you for your love life? What can you expect happening for you in your love life? Let's see. We do have six of cups. We do have nine of wands. We do have eight of wands. We do have nine of souls. We do have the judgment and page of souls and seven of souls. For some of you, you could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. Um, now, what I see here, hold on, let me see. Underneath the deck card, we do have the Ace of Cups. Now, for some of you, I really feel like, you know, the change is going to influence your life in a big way. You have no idea. If you start taking good care of yourself and if you start becoming more confident in yourself, your life overall is going to benefit from that. Now, I really feel like, you know, for those of you who are not seeing any change, maybe this is what you need to do. Stop taking good care of yourself. Stop changing your mindset by using positive affirmations and all those positive things. It is going to influence you in a big, big way that you cannot even imagine right now. I really feel like, you know, right now, when we are doing this reading, um, you know, on the second of, uh, you know, this month, there is something that you're missing from the past. And if you look back at those times that you're missing right now, you were a different you that time. You were like more confident. You were like more loving. More, you were like more, um, you know, happy. Um, and now things have changed. And that's why your, your career, your love life, everything is like fucked up. Now, as you become a better person during this time, it is going to start bringing positive changes in your life as well, in your love life as well, is what I see here. I really feel like, you know, somebody from the past might return back in your life as you bring this change in yourself. Now, how do you become this change in your life? You can, you might like start feeling like intuitively guided towards taking some classes to, to improve yourself. Maybe if you're feeling like depressed, maybe you're going to start going to a psychiatrist or a psychologist to feel better about yourself. So there is going to be something or the other which is going to help you grow as a person, which is influence your love life, work life in the, in, in the massive way is what I see here. Now, I really feel like, you know, as you're feeling nostalgic about the good times that you've had in your life, you will start attracting more of the good times. You are not going to be like, you know, as you bring this change in, you will start seeing how it is going to wash away the negativity out of your life, uh, out of your love life. And, and, and uh, you will be surprised to see how divine is going to start sending you the people who are vibing with you now. The love that you want, the happiness that you seek, the, the, the joy that you desire, it's all going to start coming towards you. So I really feel like, you know, some positive shifts in you is going to attract you more of the positive shifts in your life, which is going to influence your work and career and love life in a massive way. I really see that there is somebody out there who is going to reach out to you. And this person can be somebody who um, who might have cheated on you in the, in the past, but now they want a new chapter with you. This person could be somebody who chose somebody else over you and now they want you. So it's going to be the ball is going to be in your court. Do you want to give them a chance or not? And do you want to stick around the people who, who once kind of like, you know, talk shit about you? Or do you want to like keep moving forward, keep growing and uh, choose not to settle in for less this time around? So I really see some new energy entering in your life, new positive energy, I would say, because I really see that the change that I see happening here is going to be so beautiful that you would not want to settle in for less and go back to dealing with the old ways of uh, things, uh, you know, um, the way you used to deal with them. You don't want to, you know, go back to the past person or you don't want the past person to be a part of your life. You would want to keep moving forward, meet new people who value you from day one, uh, who, who love you for who you are. So I really see that you are going to be open to meet someone new rather than accepting a past person. I really feel like, you know, you are going to continue moving forward is what I see here. So I really feel like, you know, even though you're starting off the time feeling nostalgic about the good times, but then you are ending this time by opening yourself up to new possibilities, new relationships. You don't want anyone from the past to come back. You are not going to cater anyone. You you would rather want to close the chapter and move on. Maybe there is like, a, you know what we call it, a closure comes in for you that you wanted, but then you're moving forward. I really don't see you going back to the same person. I really don't see you going back to the, 
this connection and telling them, oh, okay, fine, you are ready to give them a chance. I really don't see that. I really see you moving on, moving forward, because you really have a pure intention now after this change has happened that you don't want to settle in for less. You really deserve the best. You know your worth now, which you did not, which is why the change is happening is what I see. So this is going to be a beautiful time frame for you and the change is amazing so yeah if it was of help do like share and subscribe and if you are willing to purchase any of the services that i offer check the description box for that and uh, till i do the next read for you guys take care bye